Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and well today as you can see I <laughs> I'm not in a different scenario. I'm trying to configure my situation when filming uh, so I try I'm trying a different angle to the same bookcases <laughs> or bookcase is, is just one um, and I'm sitting on the sofa so I'm trying an, an angle where you can see me sitting and the bookcase I think that's cute so let me know what you think about it I, I, I'm thinking to continue filming in this angle so please let me know your thoughts if you like it uh, if you prefer my old angles <laughs> so let me know okay so today i'm going to talk about this is going to be a book review and the book that i'm going to talk about is simple passion by annie erno so here it is this is a portuguese edition so annie erno was the nobel prize winner of last year of 2022 and uh, since last year I well I have already heard about this author uh, for you to know this is my first reading from the works of this author uh, but previ previously to her winning the, the, the novel I had already heard about her I really can't say what I felt or if I was curious or not because I don't I don't have like in my memory I don't even know but when she won and I reheard again um, about her I purchased this book Simple Passion and then that same year so December last year I had an opportunity to participate in a um, giveaway uh, from a, a Portuguese Instagram account and I won and the prize uh, were, was the some books by Annie Erno that were published in Portugal. So, you know, <laughs> I, I was really happy and so I I decided to put Simple Passion as my November book for 12 books for 12 months of 2023. And so that's why we are here today. Uh, and well, what this book is about, as you can see, this is really short. Let me check. I don't think this is even... It's roughly 50 pages. It has a bit uh, more, but but if we discount the uh, introductory pages, um, 50 pages roundly or roughly. This is not like a conventional or a traditional type of narrative. Uh, this is a woman in maybe middle-aged or or some or almost there that is having an affair with a married man this woman has children but they are grown-ups so they aren't dependent on her so uh, she's free in a way i think she's divorced or something uh, that part of her life is not really talked about during the narrative because the focus of the story is her affair and it's all about the feeling that she has and the behavior that, that she protagonized or protect, pr yes, protagonized uh, during this affair so this she's french this woman and this is somewhat autobiographical how much autobiographical we don't know 
of course but this she's french the, the fair passes in france but the man that she's seeing this woman is a foreigner from which country we don't know really she just she just just mentions that he's from the east so from where we don't know uh, and well this is all about her period of kind of like an obsession with this man and for an obsession with the, re the sexual relationship that they man maintain um, and so she's kind of um, a prisoner in, in a way for a period this roughly is about a year to two years of the affair uh, and she describes that she was all consumed by him and by when would he call, when would he write, when would he appear in her house. So she, she describes here uh, something that he would call one time and didn't say anything and hang up and then this was the prequel to a second phone call where then he would speak and she would be aroused by that because it was a, a, a clue that he would come to her you know so stuff like that like this um, and she she describes that her social life was kind of in a secondary priority to her that she was so concentrated and so consumed and obsessed and in a vortex with this man that everything else was irrelevant was non-important was insignificant to her and she even describes that when her children would come to the house to her house uh, they had to leave when a she calls him a so she doesn't give him give him a name so she doesn't identify him she justifies this for to uh, preserve his privacy and you know he, he was married still when he was with her having this affair so you know uh, and so she says that her children had have to leave the house so, so she could be with A. And she describes scenes like she would make a point to not wear the same thing in each time she was with him, in a way to not be boring to him, so he wouldn't he wouldn't leave her. So. <laughs> she would buy new stuff she would she wouldn't call him at home she wouldn't go places where she knew um, he and his wife uh, usually went to so everything that she did she had in mind him and not to disturb his official life should we say it like that so everything so he wouldn't leave her so that moment wouldn't stop and so this is this is all about this you know it, it, this is in a first hand, first person narrative and where she describes her behaviors and her thoughts and her feelings towards this man uh, she isn't um, graphic you know so she doesn't describe the sex scenes um, but she describes her arousement and the erotism surrounding their affair but you have you don't don't be uh, disencouraged if you don't like 
the descriptions of sex scenes because you won't you won't find those type of descriptions in this book uh, but you you know it's sensual i think that's the the more accurate description of this book uh, and then she will by the end of the book uh, she will um, be at the present so well this is all in the present should we say because she is describing as she's go as she goes along but um, so some time passed after the affair because the man a uh, went back to his country so he, he left France and um, the affair ended yeah, and he didn't call he didn't write to her so she didn't knew how he was or anything but then she describes an, a supposing encounter that they have after many months and she even admits that she doesn't really know if that encounter really did happen or if it was her imagination and then in a um, reflection upon it she says that he was a bit different a bit older a bit you know he wasn't a person that she had in her memory and that lived with her all those months that they were apart so the attraction that she had for him wasn't the same because he was not the man that she remembered and it was like that the passion ended in a way you know so it's the um, this at the end is a description of that feeling that you have when you are enveloped with someone um, and you are kind of not thinking rationally or logically you you are just in a gut feeling being or behaving with your instincts and with your more carnal instincts um, and so, you know, that eventually comes to an end or um, comes to a point that your passion is not the same as it was when it started. But this is very dispossessed, very liberating in a way because this is a woman in a, her own mind, in with her own independence, with her life in, in a point where she had had children, had been married, so she had done all that and she lived a relationship with a man, a married man, and that was it. And this was her period, her moment, her a period in time where she was all consumed by it and she's admitting it but she's not like regretting it uh, per se you know she isn't saying that she's re re uh, regretful or that she um, feels guilty about it no this is just her testimony of a, a period in life that she passed through so is this pretentious i think that's um, a description at least that's my opinion and well what can i say of my reading experience so i read this one time and i had to reread it because i i thought that my first come around wasn't so much fruitful because I wasn't really paying much attention and for another reason is that I thought that I didn't understood this book and I'm not saying that from my second reading 
that oh yeah now I do understand no that didn't happen um, I can't really say that I enjoyed this book so because this is a very peculiar peculiar is that the word maybe not but it's not conventional as I said in the beginning so this is very personal a very almost a, a, um, a confession to a diary so and this is kind of a book between books you know this is not heavy to read this is not a reading that is going to take you too long at all in an afternoon or less like two hours you can read this book so but again i i don't know i didn't connect i think that's how well i can explain it um i i admire the way that she wrote it and um the feelings and the the sentiment that she was trying to convey but at the same time i i was expecting it something and i didn't felt it i didn't feel it so but i think that's very personal so it was my reading experience maybe is something wrong with me i don't know maybe it was the time when i read this book perhaps in a few years i come back to it and i will feel a different way so who knows right uh, with books sometimes is a bit about timing i i do believe that so yeah this is a book that i'm going to keep of course and perhaps in a few years from now I will reread it and see how I'm feeling about it. So but I do advise you to pick it up. I think it's you know, it's a, as I said, it's a testimony in a way. It's of course you you don't get to connect this literally with the author because this perhaps has fiction in it maybe it's autobiographical maybe it's not maybe it's so, uh, bits of it or something but who cares right what counts is the story and how you feel about it at the end so i do think you should give it a try as i said this is my first experience with annie erno uh, I had other books by her, as I explained to you, and um, I, I want to read them because although this reading experience in particular wasn't all that, but I still am curious to um, investigate other works by the author. So, yeah. Okay, I hope... Um, I gave you a sprinkle uh, and, and I um, pickle your curiosity about this author too. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button to wall so you can be notified whenever I post. Leave a like, it helps also the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the next one. Bye!